Yongo Huewa Level Three Power English. Welcome to the show, everybody. Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen Joe, and I'm Cameron Word. Thank you so much for coming to us and wanting to study with us.、Mm -hmm. We have a lot of new listeners. Yes. Um, but most of the listeners say, Cameron,、mm -hmm. that they love our little small talk. <laughs> What we talk about、Before、in the beginning. Before we start studying. Oh,、uh, I love it too. Yes. And I think some of our listeners wonder: Do they plan the talk? Do they have a script? Do they have a script? Yeah. This part of the show,、mm -hmm. there is no script. Actually, we don't have a script. Period. No. All we have in front of us are books. Our Power English books,、mm -hmm. by the way, which you should be studying with. Yes. Okay. If you're just <laughs> listening, not a good idea. Get the book. So yeah, how are you doing?、Uh, I'm doing good. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Oh no. I was. I had to travel, but I was doing some traveling. Okay.、Uh, but I made it here just in time to do the show. Oh my.、Uh, so I'm running on a little bit of, a little bit of sleep, a lot of hope, and. Even more coffee and caffeine. So much caffeine <laughs> and some sugar. A little bit of hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So、uh, we have this month. We're talking about you know minor, not major plastic surgery,、uh -huh. but cosmetic procedures. Yeah. So that is the、yeah. Korean thing. It's not a surgery. Yeah. It's a procedure. It's a procedure. So what is there a difference between surgery and procedure? Not in English,、uh. so it's the difference between susur and shisur,、yeah, right? In yeah, Korean, yeah. But both of those would be considered a procedure、uh -huh. and a surgery.、Uh, I see. I feel. Yeah. What's well? What's the one that's not a surgery? If it's not a surgery, then what do you say? What do you say in English? So a procedure is. It just anything you have done to you, right?、Okay. So it could be a surgery, and it could not be. Okay. But as we're going to see, like in our title,、mm -hmm. getting a touch, touch up, up.、Mm -hmm. is a good way to say, "Oh, it's not a, not a big surgery." Not a big surgery.、Mm. Okay. So the title of today's dialogue is "Getting a Touch Up." I don't want to look. Dot 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 old. old. Okay,、mm. so we're going to talk more about this touch up in just a bit.、Um, if you say turn back the clock,、mm. turn back the clock means to make yourself look a little younger,、mm -hmm. take off some of the age. Right.、Mm. Spur of the moment. S P U R. This means very suddenly, without a plan,、mm -hmm. doing something in the moment. Right. And how about if you put someone on the spot? You're forcing someone to do something or make a decision、mm -hmm. right there. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and listen to our dialogue. Hi, Myra. What brings you in today? Well, I think I need a touch-up. I've got my thirty-five-year class reunion next week, and I don't want to look old. Okay. I guess there are a few things I can do that will turn back the clock at least ten years. It was a spur of the moment decision to go, so I'm sorry to put you on the spot. Well, with only a week to heal, your options will be limited. I understand, Doctor Kendrick. Okay, Doctor Kendrick says hi, Myra. What brings you in today? What brings you in today? Why? It's another way of saying, "Why are you here?" Yes. But the question, "Why are you here?" is very direct,、mm. and it could be very, it could be rude. Yes. Right. So, yes. what brings you in today? And Myra says, "Well, I think I need a touch-up. I've got my thirty-five-year class reunion next week, and I don't want to look old."、Mm. Okay. Dot 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 old.、Yes. We'll explain that in just a little bit. Now, first of all, touch up is our power vocab. Yes. Okay. It's touch and then hyphen up. So、mm. you can use it as a phrasal verb, touch up. But here it's a noun. Yes. Okay.、Mm. What is that? So a touch up is a minor correction、mm -hmm. in something visual. Oh, so okay. So the、uh, a very related Korean term would be like patil,、mm. like you're just putting a little bit 
over something.、Mm-hmm. So you can also use you can often use touch up for like makeup, makeup, which so, we do. Yes,、yeah. uh, to touch up your makeup.、Mm-hmm. Yes, but in this case. When she's talking about a touch-up for her face,、mm-hmm. she's talking about minor procedures, small,、mm-hmm. small procedures、mm-hmm. that are done to bring back the beauty or youthful、mm-hmm. appearance. So、right. things like Botox or fillers, fillers,、uh-huh. or the, the what is in modern day、mm-hmm. considered small things. Yeah. Uh, maybe in the past it was con- that was considered more serious. Right. I think a lot of people do this kind of stuff now. Yeah, it's very、uh, normal. Yeah. So、mm-hmm. we would say, "Oh, my face needs a touch up. A touch up. I need、mean, just a little bit yeah, around the eyes. Just a little here. Just a little here. Yeah, like here. The lips. The frown and... lines. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you get the idea.、Mm. So why is the title "I Don't Want to Look Dot Dot Dot"? Old. Yeah. Can you just quickly explain why it is written this way? Some people may wonder. So the dot 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 is showing hesitation,、mm. showing resistance. Right. It. She doesn't want to say the next word. Old. Yeah. Yeah. Old. Yeah. She doesn't want to say it because. She doesn't want to think of herself as old. As old, yes. And the word "old" kind of has a bad sound sure, to it. Sure, sure,、mm. sure. So,、um, if you just say, "I don't want to look old," yeah, it's very clear, very much out there. Yeah. But if you say, "I don't want to look old," yeah, you see, you get that feeling. She's a little、yeah. embarrassed because、mm-hmm. maybe、uh-huh. she knows that it should be okay to look old. Yeah. But she still doesn't want to. Who wants to look old? Yeah, yeah. Nobody wants to look old. I mean, especially nowadays. Yeah. Maybe in the past、mm. it was people. You know, they say that people used to be proud of their gray hair, yeah, proud yeah. of their wrinkles.、Mm-hmm. No. Culturally, are- <laughs> <laughs> being realistic, I don't think many、yeah. people think that way anymore.、Yes. Yeah. What does Dr. Kendrick say? Okay, I guess there are a few things I can do that will turn back the clock at least ten years. Wow.、Mm. So, Dr. Kendrick is basically saying that I can make you look ten years younger. Yeah. And younger is the expression "turn back the clock." Yes. Okay. Turn back the clock. So turn back the clock means that you are making someone look younger,、mm-hmm. and I would say it's most often used、uh, with a person's looks.、Mm-hmm. Do not confuse this with turn back time. Time,、mm-hmm. right? Right. So turn back time is itself going back in time. Right. Right.、Mm-hmm. Uh, or maybe you. It's a building. That you are, you know, pretending it's like the 1950s again. Yeah, that kind of turn back time.、Mm. Turn back the clock is almost always about someone's appearance. Yeah. Okay.、Mm. Wow. Like, oh, you look like you turn back the clock. Yeah. Right. It's like, wow, you look so young. Did you go to the dermatologist? Yes.、Yeah. Right.、Mm. What did you do? <laughs> And Myra says it was a spur of the moment decision to go. So I'm sorry to put you on the spot. Okay, now she says it was a spur of the moment decision. Yes. And spur of the moment means S P U R. What、yes. does that mean? So spur of the moment means that there was no planning.、Mm. You did this all of a sudden. Right. It was a decision you made with. Out thinking, really. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So she isn't saying that. Oh, I've been planning to go for、mm-hmm. you know three, four weeks now. Right. It's just, you know what? I'll go. I'll go. All of a、Why、sudden.、Not? Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden,、mm-hmm. spur of the moment. Right. So when you tell someone that、um, you didn't plan on doing it,、mm. that it was just really like last minute decision. Oh,、yeah. it was spur of the moment. Yeah. Meaning. I had no intention of going、right. or doing something.、Mm-hmm. And if you put someone on the spot, what are you doing? You are pressuring them to do something, to make a decision,、mm-hmm. or to take up some sort of responsibility.、Mm-hmm. So to put someone on the spot in this case, she's making her doctor、mm-hmm. do this procedure, right?、Uh, without asking, without like really telling him in advance,、yeah. all of that stuff. Right. So it's like 
And it's a little. It make if you put someone on the spot, it can also make you feel uncomfortable. It can give you a little bit of stress. Yeah, because you have to do it right away. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You don't have time to think. Right. You just you just have to choose one and. Go with it, right? So it's like at the meeting, you know, it's like, oh, Cameron, could you, you know, tell us about how this works? You know,、uh, I put you on the spot. Oh, oh, y- oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, I'll, I guess I can explain <laughs>、yeah. that sort of feeling. Right, it's putting、okay. on the spot. Right.、Um, Dr. Kendrick says, "Well, with only a week to heal, your options will be limited." So Dr. Kendrick is saying, "Well, we don't have much time.、Mm. Okay, we got to make sure." I do something with that will heal in a week. Yes. Okay. And Myra says, "I understand, Doctor Kendrick."、Mm. So I understand is our power pattern. Yes.、Mm. So this is great because it's a nice, formal, serious、mm-hmm. kind of word.、Mm-hmm. She's talking to her doctor, so、mm. I understand、mm-hmm. the the importance of this decision.、Mm-hmm. Oftentimes, I hear English speakers. Say something like "got it," yeah, yeah, which is correct,、mm-hmm. but it ha- it has the same meaning,、mm. but it's very casual, right? Right.、Mm-hmm. So I understand, especially in like a medical term, right?、Uh, a formal situation. A formal situation.、Mm-hmm. It means that you are taking this issue seriously、mm-hmm. when you're saying that you know what is going on, knowing the importance of something. Very good.、Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. Hi, Myra. What brings you in today? Well, I think I need a touch-up. I've got my thirty-five-year class reunion next week, and I don't want to look old. Okay, I guess there are a few things I can do that will turn back the clock at least ten years. It was a spur-of-the-moment decision to go, so I'm sorry to put you on the spot. Well, with only a week to heal, your options will be limited. I understand, Doctor Kendrick. It's time for Power Note. We're on pages twenty-eight and twenty-nine. Turn back the clock means that you're looking young,、mm. younger. Okay, yeah, younger. as if you went back in time. Yes.、Mm-hmm. Uh, will this laser skin treatment make me look younger? It will definitely turn back the clock ten years.、Mm-hmm. So if you want to be specific, and usually people are, you know, ten years, five、yeah. years, they、mm. give you a number. Yes. Everyone wishes they could turn back the clock as soon as they start to look old.、Mm. Yeah, I guess. I guess.、Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Like I feel the thing is, is、mm. at some point、mm. you're gonna look old.、Mm-hmm. So just get over it. <laughs> I think. I think the hardest part is when you transition. Ah,、uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So it's okay once you've accepted. Oh, I've got my gray. I've got wrinkles. I'm old. Uh huh. But that transition from like, oh, you're looking kind of young, but、uh-huh. then you transition into looking old. Yeah. That's gonna be a hard time, and that's when you would probably want to turn back the clock. Right. Yeah. Thirty-three、uh-huh. to fifty. Yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> Once you're like fifty one, yeah, you're like I'm old. I'm okay. Yeah, I've yeah. got wrinkles, but it's that I don't know. You're trying to hold on to that、yeah. more youthful、right. face. That's right. That's、uh, right. So once you kind of like, and then you turn sixty and seventy, those are big years. And it's really true.、Mm. Like if I think like my grandparents or other you know people in their sixties、yeah. and seventies, yeah, I don't look at them and go, "Wow, they're ugly." Yeah, like I don't think that.、Mm-hmm. But whenever you see it on yourself, right, you're like, oh, I wish I could turn back the、yeah. clock. I wish I could turn back the clock.、Mm. And if you say, I wish I could turn back time, just、mm. means you want to go back to the past. Yeah, it has nothing to do with like. It's not visual. Visual, right?、Yeah. Spur of the moment is it occurs very, very suddenly, unexpectedly. Yes, I know this is spur of the moment, but my boss is sending me to Tokyo tomorrow. Are you serious? Why don't you just say no?、Mm. Oh, yeah. If you gotta take an international yeah business flight, flight the next day, well, you know, I tell you, in Korea, Tokyo is so close, so I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I guess that's true. But, but. But it is spur of the moment, and maybe you have family responsibilities. Yeah, yeah. We've decided. We decided to take a trip to Switzerland on the spur of the moment. 
Yeah, mm. that would be. Have you ever taken a trip spur, spur of the, the moment? moment? I don't. Kinda. Really. Kinda. Like domestic or international? International. That really? Yeah. Like, like, ugh. but it's only because I've been there before, mm. and I had a very specific goal. I see. I see. So I knew what I was doing. It was mm. a very short trip. It was very spur of the moment. Like, okay, let's go. And <laughs> like, then my, like tomorrow? Was it like next day? Uh, it was like next month. That's not spur of the moment. Uh, for me, it is. <laughs> Although you might, I mean. If you buy the ticket spur of the moment, well, maybe. That, yeah. I mean, I have to say for me personally, and mm. this is a good question because what is spur of the moment for you? If you take a year to plan for a trip and then you decide, oh, I'm going to go to, you know, so-and-so next month, that mm. could be kind of spur of the moment, I think, relatively. No. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. So are you saying like t if today is Friday, oh. I'm going to go to Tokyo next Tuesday. Spur of the moment? That might be spur of the moment. Okay. But, yeah. However, mm. if it was like, I'm going to go to Busan next Tuesday. Yeah. That's not really spur of the moment because mm. it's domestic. Right. It's like easier to get to. Right. I don't know. I feel like it needs to be like. A little far. Yeah. Far or <laughs> only a couple of days in advance. Okay. Uh. Uh, I decided to, uh, you know, buy a new car. Spur of the moment. Yeah. That could happen. My mom has done that. <gasps> she went shop like she went shopping for like shoes. Yeah, she and came she home with a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was I, my mom picked me up and I did not know what car she was in oh. from school. That is funny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good example. Put someone on the spot means to force someone to say or do something. Very suddenly, inst yeah. instantaneously, like yeah. right now. You've got to make a decision. You've got okay. to do this right now. I hate to put you on the spot, but I need you to watch Jason for a few hours. No problem. You go do whatever you need to do. Mm -hmm. If you have to watch a child. Yeah. But you're like, hey, I'm leaving now. Can you watch him? Right. That's a big responsibility. It sure is. Carlos put me on the spot when he asked me to be his best man at his wedding. <sighs> Do you say no? Yeah. That's kind of... That's a big I responsibility. Mean, yeah, it is. I mean... It kind of does put you on the spot, yeah. especially if you're not like best friends, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. Okay. I understand it's just another way of saying I got it, but a little bit in a formal context. Yeah. I understand, Shelly. Let's have lunch when you're less busy. I understand, but it's really important. Mm -hmm. So you're acknowledging someone else mm -hmm. and you're being serious about it. Okay. That's the understanding part. All right. Mm. Touch up is our power vocab. Please check out the definition on page 30. And let's quickly thank our sponsor. All right. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for studying with us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.